What's up, people? We are back with more of Miniature Garden. In the previous video, we got one ending, and then after that, we checked out the ending list and saw that there were seven endings in total. Now, after completing the previous ending, I sort of did a little bit of research, just checked out a little bit, and apparently there are four bad endings, three good endings in total. So we got one good ending, which is basically sort of the ending of a specific character. And the one ending that we got was the Ayana ending. So there actually are two other good endings, one of which is the Sumika ending, and the other is the uh, Ryo ending, or Komiya ending. So those are two of the good endings that we still sort of have to have to get in order to understand the full story of what exactly has happened. But along the way of achieving those two good endings, there are still four bad endings to get. So the way that I am going to do it is basically just start all over again from the beginning. Um, and then select different options and then see where we end up basically. Um, I'm probably gonna try and get perhaps some of the bad endings out of the way first so that on the very last video we can end with a good ending because you know we want to we want to end the series every single series on a good note so we'll try and get the very last video to be a good ending but yeah uh, we'll basically just start again from the beginning this is the very first choice in the game and um, I think what I did was check on Sumika, so here we're just gonna do the opposite, check on Onitsuki. Now along the way, there probably are uh, some similar options or, uh, or you know, to, to achieve a specific ending, we might have to choose some similar uh, choices. So the only thing that I'll be showing, it's basically how I always approach it, if there are new stuff, if there's new dialogue, new text, new scenes, whatever, I'll be showing that. If there are uh, scenes that are exactly the same as before, I will not show those because it doesn't really add too much. So yeah, that's how I always approach things when there are multiple routes, multiple endings and whatnot. So let's do this one, I guess. Let's try and find a couple of bad endings and hopefully end on a good ending. So let's go. We're gonna choose to check on Onitsuki right now. I think this is exactly when the first time when Ayana, uh, is, uh, yeah, she sort of went missing, right? And afterwards we found her in the infirmary, and we were looking on the third floor, I believe. Sumika on the second floor, and Itsuki on the fourth floor. So last time we went to the second floor. Now we're gonna go to Itsuki, the fourth floor. So let's check up on him. We should check him on Itsuki. Let's go upstairs. Where are you, dude? I mean, we already know we can't really fucking trust him, but eh. I looked around for a bit, but found neither Itsuki nor Ayana around. I wonder if we missed each other on the way somehow. I should go back. I hurriedly went downstairs. Still, what was going on? What happened to the miniature festival? Who hit me? Where did all the students disappear to? Or was it actually us who disappeared? Deep in thought, I absentmindedly glanced toward the inner yard. The fountain in the middle of it looked like it belonged to a different world. I couldn't find that mysterious girl today in the end. I only saw her once, and under pretty weird circumstances. I wonder if she really could have just been an illusion or something. A hallucination. I'm not seeing things. Am I? Is this exactly the same scene? I don't quite remember. There's someone in the fountain. But this time it was not silver hair that took my attention. Long. Since when did she start wearing her hair long? Her black hair was floating on the surface of the water. Ayana! I dashed forward. I wasn't seeing things. That was really her. That was really her. But, she looked dead. No, no, no way! Onitsubai? Uh, Sumika! I almost crashed into Sumika who seemed to have just climbed up the stairs. Her confused eyes fixed on me. I saw her! <laughs> Downstairs, dead! In the fountain! <laughs> I ignored her and rushed toward the exit. I had to see her from up close. Maybe she was just unconscious. Maybe she was still okay. 
安成もさっき答えてたけど七不思議に死人はつきものだしねそれってまさか私たちは新たな七不思議を完成させるために閉じ込められていた If that was the case, what would be the motive? What's the point of going through something this complicated just to make another rumor? Desu yo ne! Moshkashite koko no gakuen chou wa kaiki nana fushigi o tsukuru no ka shumi nano ka mo. As a hobby? Pretty sick fucking hobby. Ayana seemed to have finally overcome her fear and joined in on our conversation. Ryo senpai wa do omo imasu ka? Sumika tried to shift the conversation to Komiya, but there was only one empty space when she turned to where she was supposed to be. Huh? D didn't she come to the roof together with us? Where was she? I looked around, but she was nowhere in sight. I wonder if she was so exasperated by the ludicrousness of our discussion that she decided to go away and investigate on her own. But then she could have said something. I didn't want to suspect her, especially after she went out of her way to calm Ayana down. But there was just too many mysteries around her for me to wholeheartedly trust her. Hare! What? What? Ayana's bewildered scream brought me back to reality. It looked like she was looking down from the roof, and now she took a step back, covering her mouth with her hands. What's going on? Why? Itsuki let out a confused gasp. As he gave a glance below. With a bad feeling taking over me, I too came closer to the fence and looked down at what they were looking at. Don't let it be Ryo. <gasps> Higusa senpai! What? Sumika, seeing the same thing, was as bewildered as us. Oh, what the fuck? On the ground right below the roof. There was a silver haired girl lying in a pool of blood. No matter how you looked at it, it seemed like she had jumped off. What the fuck? Why? But when and why? There was a tall fence on the roof precisely to prevent something like that. She must have one heck of a vertical leap to jump over that fence. You couldn't just up and jump over it. Did she jump from the floor below? But the windows wouldn't open. Would they? Then. Could it be. She was there from the very beginning? <laughs> Ryo a ghost? No, 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 hell no. Masaka. <laughs> Even Itsuki seemed to have lost his cool front. Of course, even death kind of scares him a little bit. But this was impossible. Totally ridiculous. How? Huh? <gasps> I felt a shudder run up my spine. It was as though there was someone right behind me. She's talking? And before I knew it, Ayana and the others had disappeared. I could still feel someone behind my back. If anything, it seemed as though it was getting closer. Something terrifying was... most certainly... behind my back. I took a small gasp and slowly turned around. Oh, please no. Please no jump scare. <sighs> what? The fuck? Holy shit! That's fucking terrifying! I'm like peeking through my fingers. <gasps> I suddenly opened my eyes. I was in a classroom, painted orange from the evening sun. I couldn't see a soul around. It was dead silent. I. Again? <gasps> Ayana's voice reached me from the corridor. Oh, what? It's over? Huh? This is most certainly a bad ending, right? 
Um, I... Wasn't I just on the roof? D did you go to the festival on your own? You don't remember where we just were? Busy? This was weird. My memories were a jumbled mess. D didn't we get attacked by someone and locked in the school? Don't tell me I just fucking dreamed everything. Huh. Yeah, yeah, one of the seven mysteries. I feel like that's just an easy cop-out answer for everything, right? Don't know what the fuck just happened? Eh, you know, it's gotta be one of the seven mysteries. The students that had disappeared would wake up on the same spot later. I remembered hearing that too. Oh shit, wait, that actually... Is that actually true? Could it be? Oh god. Tomorrow? You mean about dead bodies turning up or whatnot? Uh oh, and then we're gonna see Ryo actually turns up dead tomorrow? So... Nothing will happen. Or do you want someone to die? I stood up. Stop filling your head with creepy crap like that! Anyway, the miniature festival is over, right? Has everyone else already gone home? It's already over, completely over. I see. Yeah. I'm sorry. I was trapped, okay? I'm sorry, okay? I took the bag from my desk. I'll treat you to something to show you how sorry I am. What else can I do? I can't go back in time. Then what do you want me to do? It's over. <laughs> I can't turn back time, exactly. I will. I swear, from now on I will, until the next time I break a promise. <laughs> I left the classroom listening to her exasperated, but also somewhat gentle voice. By the time I reached the dorm, I'd already forgotten all about that dream. Until tomorrow. Good morning! Morning! I met Ayana at our usual place, and we continued to school, oh god. We're really gonna end up seeing Ryo dead, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, cleaning up the school, you know, cleaning up the dead bodies and whatnot. I'm not gonna disappear, okay? I don't remember. I think I might have been sleeping. You reached a point from where I could see the school gates. There seemed to be a whole crowd there for some reason. I feel like some of the backgrounds actually really remind me of like the... the Katawa Shoujo-esque backgrounds, you know, where it's actually just a real-life picture and then it's sort of... Was it recreated or just like an, an effect, an effect layer on top of it that made it seem like it was sort of um, water paint or something like that? Like this looks actually really freaking realistic, you know? Which make me think that it's actually exactly the same as Karawa Shoujo did it, which was pretty cool. I've got no idea. I glanced around to find someone I knew. Itsuki. Huh? Sub man, friend who pretends to be my friend, but I know I can't fucking trust him. Good morning. What's going on here? Unexplainable phenomenon. Huh? Oh, fuck me. Seriously? 
I thought that was just a stupid rumor. So Ayana's face clouded over. Is it someone from our school? Oh god. I have, I have. And you you have No, I mean I I'm actually curious. Is Yasunari going to if he going if he's going to see the dead body of Ryo, does he actually recognize her or not? Because apparently Itsuki, who was also present at that time, right when Ryo died, and when we were sort of teleported to that other place, Itsuki was there, Ayana was there, but they don't seem to remember anything. So are their memories just wiped? Are they given the medicine or whatever? And does, uh, for me as well, is that so? Saying that with a fucking smile while somebody just died. Yeah, it was a beautiful girl who just died. She was just sleeping in the water with the fishes. Silver hair? A girl with silver hair? Well, at least we'll get free from school, right? Yay, silver lining. Yeah. Oh, that shit is real. Trust me, Itsuki. That shit is real. And with that, Itsuki disappeared into the crowd. I told you not to fill your head with these things. Everyone was whispering around us. A silver haired girl. Wasn't I looking for someone like that? I checked my phone's mail folder. There was an underclassman's message for me there, saying he didn't know of any such girl in our school. What? Remember how we got a message before at the very beginning? Before we actually got attacked? knocked unconscious and teleported to the other place or brought to the other place that message this from this exact same message then said meet me there but now that message has changed to oh i don't know what the hell you're talking about dude i've never seen such a girl like that so i definitely was asking people about her but why did i know her somehow i couldn't remember i feel like yeah we're definitely given that medicine for some reason they just select people and brought to that place and then when somebody dies we all just get returned back to our to that to after the miniature festival and we don't remember anything because we're given the medicine huh oh okay i followed after her as we learned later the girl that was found dead in the fountain was someone who was supposed to transfer to our school today. They had still yet to find out the cause of death. Besides her, I heard a rumor that three other students were also apparently missing. What? I didn't know why, but I couldn't help wanting to know more about the whole thing, and I tried to investigate the rumors a little on my own, but it didn't really go anywhere. And in the end, all I managed to uh, to achieve was Ayana and Atsuki making fun of me for acting so unlike myself. There was one student that told me, You were killed by one of the seven mysteries, no doubt. Seven mysteries, ending seven. Oh man. Holy shit. That image of her was pretty dang fucking freaky. Oh shit. Well, we got two endings now, I guess. The Seven Mysteries, that's the last one, ending seven. That, that seemed like a bad ending, right, I guess? That was kind of a bad ending. I mean, she dies. Even though she ended up dying in the Ayana ending, this one obviously didn't give us that much answers. But at least it sort of gave us a different 
sort of different perspective, right? Sort of what happens if somebody dies earlier and we don't escape from that scenario. We just get brought back to the real world and then ah, nothing happened. But guess what? A person actually died. So that's basically how it's supposed to go every single year. Uh, and that's how what the rumors are basically all about, right? It's just that people go missing. One person ends up dying during, before or after the miniature festival. And then bam, this shit. And it's, it's kind of an endless loop, an endless cycle. But she was actually sent by her mother, right, to disrupt that cycle, to stop everything, to stop this all from happening again. But, the, the, uh, I mean, it's only two endings so far, but the, the ending, or the information I'm most curious about is, like, who is actually behind this? Because I feel like it's not just the people who make that medicine, right? Who actually puts everything into place? Like, who's the real mastermind behind all of this happening? I don't know, but we'll find out in another ending, I guess. Five more to go. Two good endings, two bad endings. I... I didn't remember. When, when is this exactly? This is when Ayana's freaking out, right? I thought we could a a add one more ending to the end of uh, the, the previous ending, because that video was kind of on the short side, so I think we can put two endings in this video. But I'm trying to sort of place where we are exactly. This is after this is after the choice when uh, we sort of go downstairs into that basement thingy and Sumika freaks out and she's sort of like ha, 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 she's acting all possessed and runs away and the last choice was either to go after her or reconfirm what we already know. I decide to reconfirm what we already know so that we stick with Ayana instead and the others. But yeah, we uh, something else happens and we already. We had that entire scene when we were sort of downstairs there with Ayana alone. This is basically after we got pepper sprayed by Atsuki. Me and Ayana stick together and we know that we're sort of on our own alone. And this is right after we try and look around I guess to try and figure stuff out again. And I think a little bit after this in the good Ayana ending, um, Komiya talks with us over the, the PA announcement, right? But I don't know if this is going to happen here. But it's basically around that same same time. If I could. I would have loved to say she was wrong. But. But. Huh? Oh, what? Ayana's eye seems to be fixed at something behind my back. I turned around to see Komiya. Visibly exhausted. Oh god, she's got those possessed eyes too. She's got the crazy eyes. Komiya. Uh oh. Ayana suddenly let out a small scream. Please don't tell me she got a knife. I understood what caused it right away. Komiya's right arm and side were all covered in blood. Komiya. Are you hurt? Was it Komiya's blood that we had been following? Oh, did we also find... Oh, right. Okay, this is actually already after we found Sumika's dead body, I think. We found Sumika's dead body. She just weakly uttered Sumika in response. Uh oh. It seemed like she remembered something again. Huh? What the hell was she even saying? Are you crazy? Why would you even say something like that? <laughs> God, calm down, Ayana, please! Ayana! Suddenly, she darted away from us with a scream. Komiya, say something! I'm giving up on you. I wanted to tell her to deny it with her own words, but I realized she was barely conscious enough to stand. Worried, I gave her eyes a closer look. It didn't seem like her mind was even registering me right now. What the hell happened there? It was obvious that Sumika was somehow involved. But it didn't seem like I would get any answers out of her in this state. And I was worried about Ayana. I didn't want to leave Komiya alone like this. But I was sure she'd tell me to go after Ayana if she was conscious. I'm sorry. And with that, I broke into a dash, 
going after Ayana. I need to protect her no matter what. I took a brief look back to see Komiya slowly sitting down with her back against the wall. Oh my god. The sun had completely set while I was running around, but I couldn't find Ayana anywhere. Was she hiding in one of the classrooms? I glanced at the window to realize there was someone standing by the fountain outside of the inner yard. Were those Ayana's and Itsuki's silhouettes? But how did they get outside? <gasps> I tried opening the window, and it slid open like it was nothing. Yeah, because, uh, because someone died. That basically means that this place entirely gets unlocked if it was locked before. Whatever was holding them shut had apparently inexplicably disappeared. Still, what were they doing together over there? They were too far to hear me from here. I hurried downstairs. Don't tell me they're gonna have like a showdown. Ayana! I got out through the emergency stairs and called out her name as I was running toward the fountain. It's Suki and Ayana, who seemed to have been talking, slowly turned to me. Are you okay, Ayana? Terrible question, I can tell from your eyes that you're not okay. <gasps> oh, oh, don't do that, please, don't do that. Please, please, Ayana, don't do that! I couldn't tell what she was holding in her hands from far away. But now, in the luminosity of the fountain lights... Are you gonna do this again? Oh, she tried this as well in her ending. But then I, I just stopped her fast enough by putting my hand in front of her throat and in, to catch the knife. Ayana opened her eyes wide and with a twisted smile on her lips, pointed the knife at her throat. What the hell? Stop it! We're accomplices? We did it together? Ayana! Oh no! Holy shit! Ayana! Oh man! That was definitely a bad ending as well! Fuck! Okay, well... Three endings now, I guess? Accomplices... That didn't give much more information though. It didn't really give much, me much more information, a aside from the fact that basically it confirms... I guess it confirms a little bit more that Ayana exactly remembers what happened in her past with her parents. But like, it doesn't give us the reason. She says that we were accomplices, we killed her parents together. But like, why did we do that? I feel like the motive behind us killing her parents is pretty important and interesting as well to find out. Holy shit. Damn. Well, four more endings to go. We got two in this video. I guess we'll do two more in the next video and two more in the other one. That seems like a nice way of uh, dividing things. So yeah, I'll be ending this video here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more in the next video. We'll find out what the fuck more is going on in Miniature Garden. Peace.